Good morning. I'm always amazed when I see God in action. The other day I was reading in my daily devotions and I was reading from 1 Samuel chapter 23 verse 16 and it says, And Jonathan, Saul's son, rose and went to David at Horish and strengthened his hand in God. The NIV version says, helped him find strength in the Lord. Now, after I'd read that, I then listened to Pastor Miles's devotion on the second coming of Jesus. And he quoted from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 11, where he said, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. And and what amazes me is how God can just keep confirming the message he wants you to get. And I just want to share that these scriptures, these two scriptures are so invaluable to us in lockdown. We are not able to attend church. We're not able to have fellowship with one another. We're not even allowed to go and visit our families. We are not allowed to study the word together in Bible studies and cell groups. Some of us are alone at home with nobody else around. Some of us have lost loved ones who did not know the Lord and may be uh, discouraged because they were not able to go and share one final time about the coming of Jesus with them. Some of us are disheartened and find our faith slipping. Some of us are strong and bold in our faith. Some of us find ourselves slipping into depression, while others are slowly building up their faith into an impenetrable stronghold. Some of us find great joy in all the time we have to spend in worship. Some of us find we cannot keep ourselves busy enough. Some of us have lost income and jobs. Some of us are financially secure. Some have gone into retirement during this time. Some of us are waiting for any time of employment possible. Some of us have sick spouses and are overwhelmed. Each one of us is in a different position while in lockdown. But one thing that is for sure, we all need to be strengthened in the Lord. Or we can all help strengthen others in the Lord. David was running away from Saul because he feared for his life. And Jonathan came and helped him find his strength in the Lord. Paul says we are to build up one another, which is basically the same thing. As you are in lockdown, reach out to others and help them, help build them up. Sometimes it's a text message of some kind and others we feel we need to make a phone call and just allow the person to talk. We may be in lockdown, but we are not isolated and kept from others completely. We still have access to others, and we can still reach out and help them find strength in the Lord or build them up. We also, big one, we also need to swallow our pride and reach out to others when we need to be strengthened. There is nothing wrong with admitting that you are weak. Share with our family in Christ when you feel weak and you cannot be strengthened. Reach out when you feel that you've been isolated and removed from the Lord. I encourage you not to allow yourself to become discouraged during this time. It is so easy for us to fall down and not be able to find our way back again. While we are in lockdown, We are still family in God, and we need to be constantly in touch with those whom we can help and those who can help us. God encourages us to help one another, and this lockdown time is more important than any to do so. Share the promises that you receive from God. Help those who maybe don't understand a scripture. Send a prayer, send a video clip with an encouraging song. Do whatever God leads you to do, but please do not allow this lockdown to get you down. While we may be locked in, we are never removed from God and his presence. He is with us and he wants us to serve him daily, even if it is via technology. 
He wants us to serve him. He wants us to serve others every day. Reach out and be a source of encouragement. Be helped or help others in the church. Strengthen not only your bond with the Lord, but with others as well. We will come out of this time, and I pray that we will all be strengthened and built up and be stronger and mightier than ever before, and that our churches will be stronger and mightier because we have strengthened our faith in Christ during this time. We have built one another up. And I would like to close this devotion with a poem that I read from my devotional book. And it's quite, again, amazing that this poem came up at the, on the same day as these two scriptures. Shut in? Ah, yes, that's so, as far as getting out may go. Shut in away from earthly cares, but not shut out from him who cares. Shut in from many a futile quest, but Christ can be your daily guest. He's not shut out by your four walls, but hears and answers all your calls. Shut in with God. Oh, that should be such a wonderful opportunity. Then after you have done your best, in God's hands safely leave the rest. God bless you. God encourage you. God strengthen you. And may you be an encouragement and a source of strength for others as you help them find their strength in God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can rely on you. We thank you that through the Holy Spirit we can be strengthened. And not only can we be strengthened, but that we can strengthen others. Help us to serve you as we serve others, even while we are in lockdown. And as this po uh, poet said, may we in God's hands safely leave the rest. God bless you all and, may, and look forward to seeing you again.